Hey, Learn Dash fans. So let's take a few minutes and talk about uh, course materials. So by default, when you add materials to a Learn Dash course, they are going to be visible to everyone, even those who are not enrolled. And a lot of people don't like that. A lot of people would like to have their materials only available to those people who have enrolled in the course. So you need to either sign up or pay for that course before you can access those materials. There are two pretty simple basic ways to handle this. Um, and there's really not one that's better than the other. It's kind of a toss up, so it's really up to you. But I'm gonna show you both of those options now, and then you can decide which one is right for you. So let's take a look at this content marketing course that I have here in LearnDash. And once we load up the edit page, in order to enable course materials, we're gonna click on the settings tab here at the top, and then there's a toggle to turn on course materials. So option one here is going to be using the course materials. Um, option two, I'll show you in a second, we'll use a lesson. So if you wanna put it in course materials, by default, if you have your materials listed here, these are gonna be viewable to absolutely everybody. So let's just take a quick look at that. Let's update this page. Um, and one other thing I'll mention before I show you this is um, the way in which you'd actually add, like let's say you had a PDF for your materials, you can just type in text materials if you want. You can also um, add hyperlinks um, to some website, you know, .com right here. You'd put in your hyperlink if that's what your materials are. So it just kind of depends on what type of materials you have. If you have any kind of images, PDFs, MP3s, audio files, anything that you need to upload, you're gonna use the add media button in order to add those materials. And I don't know that I have any PDFs here on this test site. Oh, it looks like I do. Okay, so I do have a PDF um, that I can have here. And then what you'll wanna do is this title up here is what's going to be the actual link text. So change this title to, um, you know, material one, give this whatever name you wanna name it in terms of the link text and then make sure this says link to media file, and then we'll insert into post. And so that adds, I'm gonna delete what I had written before, that adds a link that will open up that PDF and it uses whatever you put in the title right there, material one. So if we update this page, um, and I'm gonna refresh here, this is me logged in and I have access to this course. Um, you'll see I've already got 25% complete, but I have access to it, I'm enrolled in it and I can get those materials. But if we jump over to a private window where I'm not logged in, let's do that now. So here I'm not enrolled in the course. It's telling me here's what it costs. I need to take it. I'm not enrolled. I can still click a materials tab here and get access to that PDF. And that's not what we want. So let's look at one option we can do for the course materials to prevent this. So here we are back in the edit screen for the course. And LearnDash provides a handy short code that we can use to show content only to those people who are enrolled. And the way we do that is by using the short code called student. So this is how we open up the student short code, just like this with a bracket, the word student, and then a closing bracket. And then at the end of whatever we only want students to see, we're gonna do something very similar, but this time we're gonna go bracket, we're gonna go forward slash student and bracket. Everything inside of this opening and this closing piece of code is only gonna be available to those students who are enrolled and they're actually students. So now let me update this. And here we are um, on the course that I'm enrolled in. Obviously, here we go, we can still get those materials. Now, if I jump over to the non-enrolled view, you'll see that I still have the materials tab here, but when I click on it, nothing shows up. So what you could do is put a message in here that just says materials are only available to those who are enrolled in the course. And if you wanna do something like that, LearnDash has another short code called visitor. And we can say materials are only available to enrolled students um, enroll here. So depending on how you have your course enrollment or selling courses, you can put in some kind of hyperlink here to a WooCommerce product if you're using that to sell courses, or um, maybe it's a free course and you have a sign-up registration page, something like that. 
you can use this option here to link them to whatever that is. Um, but we can also, we can just provide this message that will only show up to um, learn dash calls a visitor. That just means really not enrolled. So now again, let's look at here's me enrolled in the course. When I look at materials, I just get my materials, which is great. And then if we look at the uh, non-enrolled option, we click on materials. It says materials are only available to those enrolled. And then it'll have a link or you can create like a button, whatever you want to do here for the people who are not enrolled yet. So this is one option. It does show this materials tab regardless. So that's something that if you don't want to happen, you can take a look at option two, which I'll show you now. All right, so the second option is that we're going to, instead of using course materials, we're gonna use lesson materials. The reason that we can do this is that the all of the lessons within a course are protected by default. And so you have to be enrolled in that course to look at any of the lessons. So if we put our materials in a lesson, that means by default, the way Learn Dash works out of the box, only enrolled students are gonna be able to get to that lesson, which means only those enrolled students will be able to get to that material that you add or that PDF or whatever it is. So um, here we are on the same content marketing course. You'll notice if we go back to settings, I got rid of the course materials. So those are no longer active. There's nothing there. Um, I came over to the builder tab and what I've got here is just an easy way to access my first lesson in the course. You might wanna create a lesson that um, is like an introduction or maybe even a lesson that is uh, that says course materials or start here or something like that. But you may wanna create a lesson just for an introduction to explain how a user should go about that course. Um, and in that one, you can include materials and you can even include in your course description, some instructions on make sure you click the materials tab to access all of your, your materials. Um, so what we're gonna do here, I'm just gonna use this existing lesson I have, but as I said, you may wanna write, create a new lesson just for adding materials. But I'm gonna click edit and go ahead and open up this lesson. And one thing I should point out here is um, if you are sharing lessons and you're using shared course steps and this lesson is um, being used in multiple courses, um, keep that in mind. If the materials need to differ, whether this lesson is in course A versus course B, that's gonna pose a problem because um, the materials you add to this lesson are gonna show up anywhere that this lesson gets added, regardless of which course you add it to. Um, for simple installations and simple course setups, you're only gonna be using this lesson in one course. And for that, this is a, a perfectly fine way to do it. So here we are on the lesson page. We're gonna click on settings. And just like we can enable course materials, we can also do lesson materials. So we would enable that here. We would do the same process. Um, oops, we wouldn't actually do that. We would, if we're adding a PDF, we would come here, we could look at our, oops, look at our documents. And let's just add this PDF, call it material one, insert, there we go. So now we update this lesson. And now let's take a look at the course. So now here we have our course. We notice that our materials tab is gone. We no longer have that. Um, as we scroll down, when um, since I'm enrolled in this view and I click on that first lesson, I have my materials tab and there's my material. And now if we jump over here to the uh, unenrolled version, we'll see that I don't have a materials tab and I'm not enrolled. Here's you know to take this course. Um, and I've actually disabled the uh, listing of um, course lessons and topics on this view, so I don't even see it. So there's no way for me to access that lesson. If I were to try to access it directly, I would get redirected back here to the course page and encouraged to buy the course or sign up for it. So there's no way for uh, an unenrolled person to access that material once you put it in a lesson. Um, that being said, there's one final caveat that I do wanna talk about. And that is um, protecting those PDF files from being able to be accessed directly or downloaded directly. So that material, let's take a look at the enrolled version again so we can look at that PDF. So here we are, uh, again, we're enrolled in this course. Here's our PDF. If I click on this, it's just gonna open it in my browser. I could also right click it and download it. But there's nothing that is going to prevent someone if they know this URL 
there's nothing that's preventing them from being able to type this in and access this file. Now, there's not an easy way for somebody to know exactly what the URL is going to be, but um, there are ways to that people could possibly access this. So if you're looking to really, really secure everything and make this file um, inaccessible, then you'll have to use some additional methods to protect the actual uploads. This video is not going to go into that. Uh, I might create something um, that goes through some of those other options, but for full security and for um, absolute protection of these files, you would need to take an extra step to make sure that somebody doesn't just go right to this URL and access this PDF because technically it's available on the web to anybody who knows that URL. So I just wanted to point that out. If you need some, some really strict security, then there's some extra steps that, that you can take and some extra tools to use to protect those files. If you're just using text or links as your materials or resources, then, um, and they're links to external websites and things like that, then there's no way to actually protect them because they're not documents that you've uploaded. But for your uploaded documents, um, you can secure them uh, further if, uh, if that's something that's important to you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.